Today we're here to talk about the RTX RTOS platform and to discuss why it's the application engine for high performance and high precision systems. So there's actually three converging trends and technologies that are all coming together that actually make this application engine or platform possible. The first one being multi-core x86. Being able to fully leverage Intel and AMD's multi-core roadmaps is the first component. The Windows experience, although many of these high performance, high precision systems didn't have very powerful UIs or there wasn't a demand for it, now there's actually a great demand to deliver a Windows-like experience to these type of high performance systems. So combining Microsoft Windows with RTX gives users a powerful UI while RTX transforms Windows into a real-time operating system with symmetric multiprocessing. And finally, real-time Ethernet. Applying low-cost Ethernet hardware to delivering real-time communications. So the combination of all these three technologies and, and trends is actually what makes this real-time platform possible. Okay. So let's take a typical industrial system that actually requires high performance and high precision. So this is a system that does not have or does not use the RTX real RTOS platform. And so because of that, there's many challenges that face this type of system. For example, there's proprietary hardware all inside of the IPC and throughout the system. There's complex tooling because of that hardware. There's a limited UI. There's complex cabling. Also, there's a separate safety wiring harness. So all of these challenges actually result in high costs, limited performance, limited usability, compromised safety, and finally issues with scalability and time to market. So we're going to now show on how the RTX RTOS platform can have a positive effect on this type of system. So let's take that same type of system and again, how does the RTX RTOS platform simplify and streamline the development? So let's focus first on the industrial PC and the HMI here. So we talked already and mentioned proprietary hardware being in there, the tooling and the performance. So if we open up the industrial PC, inside you'll find here's a, a, a standard motherboard using multi-core x86, in this case a dual core. So this is great because Windows is actually being used. So in this application, we're actually able to now deliver Windows experience. We have a very powerful HMI here. However, the real-time piece is actually being delivered by these plug-in cards here. So here you see like DSPs and communication chips, for example, FPGAs, ASICs, and so on. So having this type of architecture is very complicated. So having this proprietary hardware creates challenges because having these multiple architectures leads to multiple tool sets. So a lot of times these plug-in cards have their own development environments, their own RTOSs, you know, and so you'll have separate code bases and actually a lot of times separate development teams as well, all trying to maintain the same product. And a lot of times when it comes to performance, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So having multiple architectures inside of this industrial PC makes it challenging. For example, the DSPs or these plug-in cards may not be as advancing as fast as you'd like. So let's show how, when you apply the RTX RTOS platform to this, how we can actually transform this system. So first, let's add RTX to the equation. So as you can see here, now this dual core we've divided it. Windows is actually now running on Core 0. So the full Windows operating system delivering the Windows experience is on Core 0. RTX actually delivers a real-time scheduler on the second core. So we have a separate real-time scheduler on Core 1 that gives you hard deterministic performance while providing you full communication with Windows. So that creates a great now real-time platform that now will allow us or enable us to move all of the real-time functions off of the DSP or these plug-in cards onto this real-time processor now. So by moving all of this real-time functionality over, we essentially allow, allow us to eliminate this dedicated plug-in cards or proprietary hardware, greatly simplifying the system. So now the exact same system is now running on standard commercial off-the-shelf hardware, COTS hardware, with standard multi-core x86 running Windows. And so we simplified and, and reduced our hardware costs. We simplified our tooling because all of this, even though it's a separate scheduler, still is developed all under a Visual Studio, so a single development environment, the same one is done with Windows. And then finally, 
performance is unbounded because now we're fully leveraging only AMD's and Intel's roadmaps. So again, we've reduced the hardware requirement, shrinking our IPC, saving real estate, lowering our costs, and again, having a great impact on saving you know, as far as tooling costs and development costs as well. Okay? So let's look at this same system and we're going to focus now on the wiring piece of it. So we mentioned complex cabling and safety wiring. So it's not uncommon to find very large wiring harnesses in these type of high performance systems. A lot of times it's because of you know, running proprietary wiring harnesses, multiple buses, and a lot of it is due to having separate safety wiring logic and wiring just to ensure you know, high levels of safety for the user. So these are huge impacts as far as not only for installation but also maintenance and expandability. Now, when we apply the RTX RTOS platform to this, you'll actually now, because we can take use or make use of real-time Ethernet, we've had a huge impact on our design. So you can see there's been drastic changes to the layout here. We've gotten rid of all the complex wiring, all the separate safety wiring harnesses, and now we have a single Cat5 cable going to all of the IOs as well as the, all the drives. Because real-time Ethernet uh, not only takes advantage of standard CAT5, but it also integrates communication and safety on a single bus. So we've essentially eliminated the need for all the separate safety wiring harnesses while still maintaining extreme high levels of safety. So huge savings in cabling costs as well as uh, exp expandability and flexibility. Okay? So, We've already talked quite a bit of detail about the industrial example here using this dual core. So say we've built this entry level system, but now you want to build a next generation design or maybe make a higher end system. So you essentially can just get a commercial off the shelf board with a quad core multi-core processor on it. And the same application now, and here's the concept of an application engine, the same application developed on the entry level will seamlessly move over to the mid-level system. And now you have two additional real-time cores here at your, at, for, available for processing. And because, again, RTX supports symmetric multiprocessing, these three cores are all under a single scheduler. So that makes integration and development very straightforward and a lot more simplified. And again, it's all under Visual Studio. So in this case, on these additional real-time cores, we might want to add a soft PLC, for example, or a soft motion. So now we have even a, a fuller, more complete, as far as application or system right here. But say, after development of this, you want to go to a next generation system. So in this final or high-end system, you can get a COTS board with an eight core Intel or AMD processor and now here you have two Windows cores and you have six RTX dedicated cores. Again, Windows has its own scheduler, RTX has its own dedicated real-time scheduler and your same application you built, this application engine here, will move over to the high-end system and so in this case, because we have so much more dedicated real-time processing power, we actually have a full core dedicated for DSP, two cores dedicated for Ethernet, Ethercatamine. So here we have the stack one dedicated for control, and then stack two doing all the I.O. communications. We have a PLC soft motion, and finally one additional RTX dedicated core, which in this case will actually implement a vision application. So as you can see, we have a truly scalable architecture now, all because you're taking advantage of the RTX RTOS platform, and you can have an application engine that can truly scale from entry level all the way into high end. So I know we spent a lot uh, talking in specific about the industrial market, but building this application engine or using the RTX RTOS platform doesn't stop here. For example, you can go into another high performance, high precision marketplace, and that's in medical. So taking this same platform into the medical space, we could be designing an MRI machine. So we might have an entry level system with a quad core and here we have one Windows core and three real-time cores, again, using RTX and symmetric multiprocessing. And so you might have three cores dedicated for real-time image processing of your image. You might then want to move or create a high-end system. So this high-end is an eight core, and now we have more than double the real-time performance. So we have seven real-time cores all dedicated to do image processing and rendering. 
So, for example, you could have this entry-level system might have a processing time, for example, of 15 minutes. Maybe this high-end system can cut that processing time or cut it in half to maybe, say, eight or seven. So essentially, you've increased your patient throughput and improved the whole patient experience. So again, medical is also impacted or can take advantage of the RTX RTOS platform. Also, moving to, into the audio space, we can have a lot of scalability there as well. So, for example, high-end mixing boards, we could have a quad-core system delivering 32 channels of real-time mixing, and we can have three real-time cores dedicated for the signal processing. We could then map to an eight-core, again, COTS board with an a, with a eight-core system. And here we can support up to 56 channels because we've more than doubled our DSP performance just by using the x86 cores. So this is the audio. So we've used a couple of market examples. By no means, again, this is limited here. There's a lot of other high-performance, high-precision spaces, for example, test and measurement, simulation for example, uh, military, aerospace. So there's a lot of other application spaces get, that can take advantage of the RTX RTOS platform and truly develop an application engine that can suit their needs and that can scale with their requirements. Finally, let's take a more complete look at the RTX RTOS platform. So starting at the bottom, we have multi-core x86 hardware, fully taking advantage of Intel and AMD's multi-core roadmaps, which are advancing or doubling performance every 18 months. Next, we have Microsoft Windows combined with RTX. Microsoft delivering the full Windows experience, and when you combine it with RTX, you, do, you transform it into a real-time operating system with symmetric multiprocessing. And finally, real-time Ethernet. So using something like EtherCAT or Profinet gives you the use of low-cost Ethernet hardware, delivering hard real-time communications with safety. And then finally, the application layer is sitting on top. And all of this is developed under a single integrated development environment, and that's Visual Studio. So I hope you found this beneficial and that by going through this, we talked about how the RTX RTOS platform truly is the application engine for high performance and high precision systems. Thanks for the